All right, guys, so today we have some more stuff to share with you about the LCQ Studios motocross game. We have some new gameplay from a track, a real track. Um, so it is a bit more, I wouldn't say finished, but uh, it is different. It's pretty cool, pretty big, uh, long clip to show you. And yeah, so the last video we made, I have to correct and address a few things that we said that um, have been cleared up a bit. So, we made that video last week, uh, don't worry, the gameplay is coming up here in a second, but I do want to kind of set it up for you because, yeah, after last video we did, um, Michael Hodge did see it, and he did clear up a bunch of stuff that uh, we weren't sure about, and we have a lot more information and a better understanding of where the game has been and where it is now. So, he put out a big post to let us know what's going on. The LCQ Studios game, basically it started out as a project that he wanted to see if he could make uh, a bike in a game. And then it evolved and got a bunch of attention and kind of blew up. And so it, it became a real project. He kind of put together a... A very small team and LCQ Studios was born but then the pressure to make that game and get it done fast and then all the the negativity that comes with the development of a new game just kind of got to him and it just made him dread even working on or trying to progress or make that game a reality so it just kind of put everything on hold and the game was in limbo, basically. We didn't know if it was going to happen, we hadn't heard from him, and then all those years went by and it was just silence, you know, we didn't have, we didn't know anything. Was the game actually going to be made or was it done? Uh, here's the gameplay you probably wanted to see from the track. We have slot cam, first person, and third person. Um, is what he shared with us, and it's on an actual track. So this is pretty cool. And he did say, before I get back to what I was saying, that the bike and rider model are just a placeholder, basically. So when the game actually comes out, that will be different. But this looks pretty darn good. I'm really excited about it. I think he has made a bunch of progress in a very short period of time because this game is new from the ground up. This isn't the same LCQ Studios Motocross Chasing the Dream game that we knew about all those years ago. This is a completely new game from the ground up. Uh, but back to what I was saying, all the negativity just got to him and then that game got put on, on hold and we didn't know anything. And then in the last few months, he decided to just start messing around with with uh, making this game here, which again is completely new from the ground up. This isn't the same um, game from a few years ago. This basically wasn't supposed to be a motocross game. It was just him messing around and sharing stuff on, in the Discord and on his Twitter and, and whatnot. But then, the funny thing, um, we made that video because we didn't know what was going on, and I thought this was the same game um, and so we talked about it being progress, but it isn't. It wasn't even supposed to be be a game, really. So we talked about the game having progress and, and getting a revival, but that wasn't really true. But he did he did see the video and he saw the comments and the support that this game or this project has gotten, and it's a reality. The revival of LCQ Studios, the motocross game, is really happening. And again, new from the ground up, it was just Michael Hodge working on this game. That's kind of what it felt like, but I wasn't sure. But after all this happened with making the video the other week, he did get some messages from people that were originally on the LCQ Studios development team. And it looks like he's trying to put the band back together. He wants to get some of them, or, or as many as he can, to come back to the project and take it serious and really make it, make it happen. Um, now the big news that he did share 
is that he does have a super pre-alpha version of the game pretty much ready to go, almost ready to go, I think is what he said, and he wants to release it on Steam and somewhere else, I don't remember where, for free, okay, for free. He wants player. He wants it to be a player-based uh, feedback development game, and it's going to be very, 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 very pre-alpha. He said he just has a few things he he uh, needs to work on, and sound being one of them. It doesn't sound like the sound is going to be that difficult, but don't expect the most amazing bike sounds in the game. Um, I know we all kind of criticize the sounds for Legends, but we got to cut this guy some slack right now. It's just him. A free version, okay? No money involved. A free version of the game to help develop it and whatever. So he said the sounds are probably going to suck. They're going to be really bad, but that's totally fine. Super pre-alpha and again, free. So definitely go wishlist it. He said it's got about 9,000 wish... Uh, it's been wishlisted on Steam about 9,000 times, so... Go add to that number, and when it comes out on PC in Super Pre-Alpha, download it, and let's play it, and help him make this game as good as it possibly can be. Now, I guess I do have a problem with it being free. I wish he would have charged, even if it is a very, very, very early Super Pre-Alpha version, some money for the game. Your time, my man, Michael, your time is worth something. If you do a Kickstarter or anything, I know you don't, maybe you don't want people's money because you don't want to let them down or whatever, but I don't care, okay? You're making a motocross game, you're passionate about it, you already said you want to release it for free, I want to support you, my man. Your time is worth something in my opinion, and even if it's only like 10 bucks for the game, you deserve it, you really do, you shouldn't be working for free, you shouldn't. I, I mean all the negativity and all that stuff can get to you and it, and it can get to anybody i've been in the moto community for a very long time and yeah the you can get 50 great supportive comments but then you get that negativity and what he means by that isn't bad criticism or negative criticism he wants that it's the this game sucks this game isn't reflex i get that we love reflex we love mxm we love mx bikes well I don't love MXM, but I get because I suck at it, but I get a bunch of people do. But just saying that stuff is so negative and it just wears on you. No matter how tough you are, it wears on you over the years. And I get it. I sympathize with you, Michael Hodge. I get it. So, guys, constructive criticism, stuff you don't like, but just the super toxic, horrible comments don't help anything. Constructive criticism, suggestions, um, all that stuff, for sure, he wants it, but that that toxic stuff is what got this game almost canceled in the first place, so we need to support it, we need to help uh, give input and constructive criticism to make the game the best we can, or he can, and go from there, but yeah, uh, very interesting, free version, the gameplay looks good, I'm really excited, free version coming very soon to Steam pretty awesome but you guys and girls are absolutely amazing thank you so much for the support on the channel lately it really does mean a lot let me know in the comments what you guys think and we'll go from there but until the next video take it easy